Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man, every man will bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? Why should we wait? King, King of glory, feel this place. I just want to be with you. Sing it to the King. I just want to be with you. King of glory, King of glory. Feel this place. I just want to be with you. I just, I just want to be with you. Yes, the world, yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man, every man will bow down and say you are King. So let's praise him now. Why should we wait? King of glory, King of glory, feel this place. I just want to be with you. Come on and worship him. I just want to be with you. King of glory, King of glory, feel this place I just want to be with you I want to be with you I just want to be with you you're my king of glory king of glory feel this place I just want to be with you I just want to be with you a pleasant good morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Pastor Wayne Carey, and I am so grateful. I am honored. I am privileged to be with my brother, Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy here on Morning Prayer, our broadcast. Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, thank you so much for entrusting this platform to us, to myself and Janice. Thank you so much for your belief in us, and we thank you for, for being a brother and a sister, Pastor, uh, Pastor Amy, thank you for being, uh, you know, family. And, and we are grateful uh, for, you know, for what God is doing in your life, uh, grateful for what God is, you know, the impact uh, that he is making through your life, through your ministry, is impacting, you know, the globe for the glory of God, uh, for the miracles that has taken place um, um, in your life, in your ministry. And so we are grateful to be a part of such a great work. And again, we want to take this opportunity to, to ha ask persons who have not subscribed to this channel to subscribe to this channel. This is a, a channel that is, that is of God. Um, it's a channel where that, you know, miracles and healings, it, it, you know, deliverance uh, takes place. And so we want them to, you know, want the ministry to get to, um, uh, uh, you know, we're looking at a, a million subscribers that's what we want we want to start with a million subscribers i believe we are somewhere in the 400,000 range uh but we want a million subscribers so subscribe to the channel and i believe what it is for you that you would get in this ministry because this ministry there you know it, within this ministry it's a it's a breathing ground for miracles to happen right so let us pray father in jesus name we give you thanks we praise you father god we thank you god for this day for this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and we are glad in it. Father, Lord, I pray for Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy. Cover them, Lord God, in your blood. Father, continue to strengthen them in their bodies, Father. Uh, continue to give them wisdom, knowledge, understanding, Father. Lord, continue to manifest the plans that you have for them, Father. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven father toward them father in the name of jesus we pray father god for their children we pray father god for the ministry father continue to expand continue father uh, that your supernatural power god would be evident in the lives um in their lives and in their ministry father we pray father god for everyone who's listening this morning god that you would meet their needs god that you would uh, uh, that your supernatural power, Father God, would rest upon them and that they would receive healing, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. So let your will be done today, this morning, Father. We give you thanks and we give you praise, myself and Janice. We come in agreement with your people. 
everywhere, Father, what they are believing for, that it may be manifest in their lives right this very moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Well, uh, we are grateful uh, again to, to, to be back and to join Pastor Sean um, for the week. Not just, you know, he just didn't just give me one day or two days. He gave me a week, a full week. <laughs> so, Pastor Sean, thank you so much. And Pastor Amy uh, for allowing uh, me to, myself and Janice, to be on the platform. And uh, we've been talking about, again, the miracles of Jesus and talking about having, uh, you know, the, the attitude of faith. And um, I know that you've heard this before. And, um, you know, this is, you know, I'm, I'm in the Bahamas. And, uh, you know, being in the Bahamas, um, you know, in, in places where maybe where you are, uh, there's always this, um, you know, a, a man, a prophet is never on it in his own in his own country. Right? Nothing strange, nothing change. He's never on it in his own country. And so I want to I want to I want to use for a subtopic this morning. Uh, let Jesus do what he does without hindrance. Let Jesus do what he does without hindrance and i want us to be to be very careful of those persons who are you're know, part of a congregation maybe you in a particular city wherever you are and um you can find yourself not receiving uh the miracle or not stepping into the supernatural because of your own unbelief and um, and so in the story where it talks about a prophet is, is, is without honor in his own hometown, uh, we know the story where, and we'll read from uh, Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 13, verses 53 to 58, reading from the NIV version, and it says, when Jesus had finished the parables, he moved on from there, uh, coming to his, his hometown. Somebody say hometown, coming to his hometown. Now, we would think, you know, the hometown man having a celebration. Hey, I'm coming home. There's a lot of times when we come home or we in that environment that it's, it's not because it's home. That means it's the best environment for us. Because in most of the times he's saying that, you know, when we come home, we are not even received by our own. As Jesus came into his own and his own received him not. And the Bible says he began teaching the people in their synagogues. As he began teaching the people in their synagogues, it says, and they were amazed. He taught and his teaching, his teachings amazed them. They were amazed. And then it says, they said, where did this man get this wisdom? They agreed that, you know what? He had wisdom. Where did he get his wisdom from? He was very wise. And these miracles or these miraculous powers, so they agreed that he, 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 he was a man of wisdom and they agreed that there were miraculous, he had miraculous powers. So they, they, they heard him teach, saw him teach, and his teachings was filled with God's wisdom. There was miraculous signs taking place. And so they agreed that he was a man of wisdom. And also there was something happening in his life. He had miraculous powers. They agreed that these things were so. And then they asked the question, even though they agreed the wisdom and the miraculous signs, they asked the question, isn't this the carpenter's son? And this is where it becomes confusing. Someone, Jesus now, he is teaching Wisdom, miraculous signs are taking place. They know that this is the work that he is doing. And they begin to ask them the question, isn't this the carpenter's son? This is where uh, familiarity comes. Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't this uh, his mother's name, Mary? And aren't these brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, aren't all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things, right? And they took offense at him. Now, I want you to see this now. Let's put ourselves in a position. I would put Pastor Sean. I would, put, I would use Pastor Sean or maybe use myself or use us, both of us in a sense. There is the, the power of God, the wisdom of God that is evident in the lives of Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy. God is using them. 
Now, because you are familiar with who he is, a, a boy from, 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 from High Rock that you know from Freeport, Bahamas, a boy that, that you grew up knowing, become very familiar with. Now, God is beginning to work in his life. God is expanding him. God has given him a, 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 a voice that is being heard by millions of people around the world and millions of people they are receiving because they are not uh, uh, familiar with him. They are receiving miracles. They are receiving the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. They are receiving from this ministry. Now you can find yourself in a place of where that God is hindered from working through Pastor Sean, the spirit is hindered from working through him simply because of your familiarity with him and Pastor Amy. You are looking at them, I know this boy, I know this girl, I know where they came from. And you find it difficult to receive from this. And so this is what the topic says, let Jesus do what he does without hindrance. And he wants to heal, he wants to set free, he wants to deliver. But because of you looking at them on this platform, you are causing a hindrance, you are stopping the hindrance and the miraculous and the supernatural power of God to hit your life life because you are looking at them so familiar I know them I know their sisters I know their brothers and sometimes it can be our own siblings who are familiar with us and they find it difficult to receive what God wants to do but God he wants to heal you because he is a miracle working God and this is a platform for miracles a platform for healings this is what he wants to do and the Bible said this as they begin it says they and they took offense of him. They took offense, even seeing the wisdom, even though hearing and, and watching miracles taking place, right? Hearing miracles taking place. They saw the wood. They heard his wisdom. They knew that he was a person of wisdom. But here is the comparison. They begin to look in the natural. They begin to look at his mom. I know his mother. I know his dad. I know his sisters. I know his brothers. I know where he lived. Oh, we used to go to that house. We used to shoot marble together. I know them. So, so they took offense of him. How can he operate like this when he is so, uh, uh, when he is one of us? We know him and they f they took offense and it was very difficult for them to receive from Jesus. And I think one of the other versions it talks about that he marveled because of their unbelief. And it went on and it says, but Jesus said to them, here's what he says, only in his hometown, only in his hometown and in his own house is a prophet without honor. Only in his own house, in his own hometown, is a prophet without honor. Now, when we speak of the miracles of Jesus, here it is now. Jesus, the Bible goes on and it says, and he did not many miracles there. He did some there because of their lack of faith. He did, here it is, and he did not many miracles there because of their lack of faith. And your lack of faith or this attitude of faith that we're talking about, this attitude that you have, you are looking at the vessel that God is using. You can be hindering, you can cause a hindrance to come to your life because you are saying that it is not my little brother. It is not my big sister. No, it's someone else. But God can have your healing. God can have your deliverance wrapped up in somebody that you despise glory to God and so if you want God to uh, be believing for a miracle to happen in your life I want to encourage you this morning if there is something in your heart if there is something that is that is hindering you from receiving from God that miracle that you are believing for can be wrapped up in me and you can be looking and said I know Wayne Carey I know Pastor Wayne I know him I know where he came from I know where, how he, what he used to do I know him and then you find it difficult for you to receive but I want you to look away from Pastor Sean, look away from Pastor Amy and see them as vessels of God. And as that word would come forth, receive what it is that you desire to happen in your life so that it would not be a hindrance to you. And you find yourself going another five years, another 10 years and struggling with the same thing that you've been struggling with. When God has come in the town where he has come in this place, where his presence is there 
to completely heal you, to completely set you free so that you would not carry the weight that you've been carrying on for years. But you have allowed yourself to look at the vessels that God is using and in that vessel is the deliverance and you find yourself, you are hindering your own deliverance. Glory to God. And so the prophet is not honored in his own town, not honored in his own country. And the Bible declares, and he did not many miracles there because of their lack of faith. They was disturbed the way that Jesus operate. They was disturbed. And so this morning, we drop by this morning to encourage you in your faith this morning. Don't allow your faith to be disturbed. Don't allow your faith to be disturbed. If God chooses to use anyone that would speak on a platform, anyone in your family, and you know that that is the word of God, that is the pure truth of the word, and you know that that person is a vessel of God, don't allow you not receiving that person to hinder the blessing that God has for you. And so God, he is present to heal. He is present to set free. He is present to deliver you. And I believe this morning, as we are on this platform, a platform of miracles, a breathing ground for miracles to happen, that you can receive what you want this very moment today, this morning. You can receive it right now, simply because this is a breathing room for miracles to take place. And if Jesus is here, you can get it. So don't allow him to wear that he, he in that town. He, he did less miracles simply because of their lack of faith. So we speak faith to you today and the things that is hindering you from receiving the things of God. We break that power. We break that stronghold on your life. And we say to you to receive what God has for you in Jesus name. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God, for the truth. You said, Father, for your word is truth. Sanctify us with thy truth, for your word is truth, Father. Lord, allow the supernatural to happen in the lives, O oh God, of your people this morning, Father. Set them free, Father. Supernatural. Father, what they've been trying to do for years, Father, break it and make it happen for them instantaneously, Father, and swiftly even right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for it, God. We thank you for setting us free. We thank you, God, for delivering us, O oh God, from out of the powers of darkness and translating us, Father, into the kingdom of the addition of love. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Well, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this word. Amen. We'll see you in our next session tomorrow morning. Blessings to you. To give in this offering, visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. And if you feel extra generous, we accept non-cash donations. If you would like to give stocks and shares to the ministry, the information is right there on the screen, app.overflow.co forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. We've connected with a company by the name of Overflow who would help make that possible. You can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you. We'll never take you for granted. God bless you. Looking forward to seeing you again on tomorrow as we continue this wonderful series, The Miracles of Jesus. God bless. Bye-bye.